Hey guys, it's Becky from thecookierookie.com and I'm so excited to be showing you how to make one of my very favorite family recipes, saltine cracker toffee. I am obsessed with this cracker toffee and my mom would make it for our family every Christmas but also throughout the year whenever we would request it. It's so simple that you can make it anytime, only three to four ingredients and you are ready for action. It's an awesome treat to take to school, for fundraisers, for game night, potlucks, anything holiday related. Everyone loves this toffee and it is so simple. Let's get started. You're gonna start by making your toffee. We're going to heat two sticks of butter in a saucepan. These are already softened, but they wouldn't have to be. We're gonna melt the butter and then add brown sugar and bring to a boil. It's a simple way to make toffee. So let the butter melt a bit and once it is fully melted, we'll stir in our brown sugar. So you can keep your heat at kind of a medium low until the butter is melted and then we're gonna turn it up to a medium high to bring the sugar and butter to a boil. Okay, our butter is melted so we're going to add our brown sugar and it is one cup packed brown sugar. We're just gonna let it cook into the butter. Turn up our heat to medium high. You wanna make sure it's fully incorporated in the butter. Now as you're cooking, you want to make sure you scrape the sides and get all the parts fully coated and fully mixed together. We're going to bring this to a rolling boil for four to five minutes until it's lighter in color and kind of a caramel consistency. It's important to get those sides, so just keep getting the sides. And once it's at a boil, you don't have to stir the entire time, just occasionally. If you're having trouble with it coming together, just stir a little bit slowly, but keep stirring, getting the sides, bringing everything together. And then once it's incorporated like this, you can turn it up to about medium high to get it to the boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we're at a boil. I'm gonna keep it at a rolling boil, but decrease the heat just a little bit so we don't burn our toffee. And you don't have to stir the entire time it's boiling. I'm gonna let it boil for about three minutes. While your toffee's boiling, you're going to lay out saltine crackers in a row, salt side down. I've already started this, but I'm gonna take some more crackers. And you want to fill an entire baking sheet with crackers. So again, salt side down, and we're just creating a nice little layer of saltine crackers. It's the base for our cookie cracker, whatever you want to call it. Give this a nice slow stir so we don't separate our caramel. And at this point I have it all the way down to low. Because the rolling boil is staying, I can turn it down as long as it keeps boiling, you can turn it down as much as you need to to not burn the toffee. You'll see the toffee start to look fluffy. That's when you know it's on the right track. Just keep boiling for a few more minutes. Okay, our toffee is done and we're going to spoon it over the crackers. My mom told me, and she knows all the tricks, that it's easiest to spoon over a layer at a time first and then use an offset spatula to pour over the rest. We've sprayed our spoon and our spatula with nonstick spray because this is some sticky stuff. So you just take a spoonful at a time and pour it over a layer of crackers at a time. Once we've poured it over all the different rows, we will spread it all out. And now we're gonna just take an offset spatula that is also greased and spread out the caramel. You wanna do this as quickly as you can while it's still nice and hot. You wanna get all of the crackers covered. Now we're gonna pop this in the oven and let it bake and caramelize even more and spread out even more and then we're gonna add our chocolate. So we've taken the crackers out of the oven. We're gonna let the toffee sit and sizzle on them for two minutes before we add our chocolate. After that, we add the chocolate and let it melt. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle on the chocolate chips but then do not touch them until they start to get shiny. That's how you know they're ready to smooth. We've done a mixture of semi-sweet and milk chocolate chips, which I think is the perfect combination. 
Another really important thing to know is to use really good quality chocolate chips. I'm talking the most expensive that you can buy at your grocery store. It makes such a big difference. We've used cheaper brands in the past and it does not work as well in this recipe. If you think they're taking too long to melt and get that shininess, you can stick it back in oven that is off for about 30 seconds. Okay, the caramel's starting to get a little bit shiny so you know it's ready to smooth out. Again, put baking spray on your offset spatula and then slowly spread your chocolate. You don't wanna go fast because you don't wanna make that toffee come off of the crackers underneath. and then you can make it pretty if you're artistic or good at that kind of thing. We pre-made a pan of these toffee crackers, so I'm gonna pull them out so I can show you how to break them apart once the chocolate is cooled. You're gonna place in the fridge, and once it's fully cooled, you're ready to eat. Okay, this set has been cooled and is ready to break apart, so the easiest way to do it is to pull up the foil on one end, and just make a natural break. At that point, you can just peel them apart. Break them however you like, the corners. Ideally, this chocolate would be a little bit colder. You could even stick it in the freezer for a bit to get that to work. And then once you're done, keep in an airtight container in the fridge, best served cold. Hop over to thecookierecky.com for the full recipe. Mm -hmm.